Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5 for some more multiplayer racing. For this session, we are using B-Class cars. Everything here has to be fitted with the vintage race tyres. And I have been sensible, I think. I've got a Corvette. It seems like a pretty reasonable choice here. Oh, the other rules were couldn't have any driveline swaps, so nothing's converted to all-wheel drive couldn't have any engine swaps, so they're all running their original engines. And of course, some of these cars are very... all of these cars are very old. Uh, some of them much older than others. Um, I mean, normally if you were racing these, you'd just put a new engine in them, which is why I'm forcing that rule here. Uh, the Corvette, my logic behind this one was it is going to have very big rear tyres. Three, four, fives at the back. Very good for traction. Uh, it is, I mean, what is it? £2,800, so it's not the lightest. Cars I'm worried about Fair Lady Z, I've built them before, very, very fast. The A110, also very fast. Uh, <laughs> basically, all the small light cars. Uh, the Renault 8 could be good. Could be a bit wobbly and difficult to control, but could be very fast. Um, 2002 Turbo, I think they're quite quick. Well, I don't know about in uh, with this sort of regulations, because of course the standard engines on these cars are probably not by any means the sort of most PI effective. Uh, apparently, it's a bit damp and drizzly. For this first race, we will see how the cars fare here. My massive tyres is likely to be helpful uh, on the Corvette for traction. Oh, there's some visiting of a wall. The uh, the Renault, of course, will be on very, very skinny tyres. So I will probably have more composure through here than a lot of cars, even if we are a bit chunky. And this is in relative terms. You've got to bear in mind, £2,800 is not that bad, but what we're up against here is going to be light. Uh, we have got way more grip. I don't think I should have put the Force Aero on the car. Uh, just thinking about it and seeing how much grip I currently have, I think the Aero was a little bit unnecessary. Should probably not have done that. Oh, street furniture, hello. Uh, yeah, should not have done that and gone with a bit more. I, uh, though the Aero was to drop the PI down as well a bit, so I might not have quite got what I wanted either. What I should have done is dumped all the Aero off of the car. Uh, so we are sluggish in a straight, but my god, are we good in the corners. Uh, now, the other hope for my car slightly in this session uh, is this is a multi-surface event, so there is going to be dirt. Now, I have got absolutely ridiculous rear tyres, although so does the Fair Lady, because that's got a wide body kit. Um, I, don't even, I don't think the Fair Ladies are actually as big as mine, even with that wide body kit. So there's a chance that we might be very good off-road. Uh, now, there are a couple of rear-engine cars, the A110 and the uh, Renault, the Renault 8, are probably the big threats on the dirt, because rear-engine, good for traction, but they have tiny tyres, which is not good for grip. So we will have to wait and see. BMW, very defensive in the final corner, uh, have not, uh, not found a way past, but that's okay. I don't think we've got a pace of the Fair Lady that's probably to be expected, um, but... We might. I think we have got the pace of the BMW. Definitely got more grip. I mean, the front end of my car is actually very well behaved through here. BMW is not. It's just going to wash out wide. I'm going to go for a cutback. Uh, we are going to make the pass stick. And we've just got the grip to do that. I mean, down here. Oh, well, we got street furniture and immediately ruined. Uh, God damn it. We, do, we set up all of that hard work um, for getting the getting the pass and the street furniture managed to get wedged between my car and the post. That's really frustrating. I swear the street furniture is getting... I don't know whether it's just like the, the percentage chance, the odds chance of all of this because uh, oh, you do enough races and weird stuff's going to happen. But we keep getting street furniture and it's not just it's slowing you down when you hit it. That one there was... it was knocked down. It then wedged between my car and a concrete bollard. So I got screwed. Uh, it's stuff like that, very frustrating. There's not very much I can do about that one, really. We're going to do exactly the same move on the BMW, though, because we've just got the grip to do it. Uh, <laughs> if anything, it was a bit of a better pass that time around, and we are clear. Uh, that should be out of the way, at least, down here. Do we turn better than the Nissan? See, I think the problem I've got is the Nissan... It will not probably... Yeah, it might even... Uh, it might not have as much power as I do. But the, the difficulty I have got here... I didn't know if BMW was going to go for that through there. The difficulty I've got is we've just got a lot more Corvette to lug around than that. So it's it might not have the, quite the same power, but it's so light it's going to accelerate better. 
our big selling point is we've got massive tyres we turn into these corners very well. Uh, I mean, the BMW can look... Oh, I mean, even... Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit wide through there, but... Oh, uh, oh God, we want to cross the BMW over, but we've actually ended up in a really awkward place here. Uh, yeah, I'm all out of position and not in the right gear or anything. We're going to have to do it the difficult way at the bottom of the hill here. Because uh, he's not going to do it into this corner. Where we're going to hopefully be able to do it, our BMW ran in very hard. Because it, well, it knew where the danger was. And indeed, the danger is here. Uh, it's been a bit of a scruffy final lap from both of us, to be honest with you. Uh, will the BMW be close enough to try and send it at the final corner? It's definitely there. Uh, we're going to have to defend the inside a little bit, park it on the apex, and it is not quite. It slithers and slides its way out. We will take second place. Good race. Fun battle over that second. The Volvo was watching us. The Volvo didn't quite have the speed that our two cars had, I don't think. It kind of came with us, uh, but not quite. Um, yeah. I mean, okay, so that track was very good for us. Couldn't match Fair Lady. Uh, but, yeah, that was... That was a good race. It was a good battle. I do worry my car is going to struggle at some of the bigger tracks. I think we are going to be a bit too slow in a straight. Uh, however, it's a lovely handling car. It really, really, really is. We head to the Caldera circuit next. Uh, ooh, it's an interesting grid. Well, fair <laughs> ladies in front. Uh... Don't know what this is really going to throw up. I mean, that is the point of this event, if you like. Uh, definitely got to watch out for the Alpine, the, the A110, the Renault. They're, both of those are things to to look out for here because they got the engine at the back. That's great for traction. Rear engine, rear wheel drive, fantastic traction. But of course, I've got very big tires. Fair Lady would have very big tires. The Volvo probably not. I uh, don't know what size that gets, but they're probably not going to be crazy. Uh, but of course, Corvette is heavy. The Fair Lady is light. Maybe the weight, though, is going to be good a little bit. I don't. I, I think that's probably a bit wishful thinking, but you know, uh, there is that. Uh, I definitely, I'm definitely not sliding about anywhere near as much as the Fair Lady did through the first corner. Uh, that's perhaps, uh, perhaps works on, you know, the cold tyres and everything. Whether that's going to keep going i don't know volvo with a little bit of understeer uh, i have got a lot more traction than the uh, than the nissan by the looks of it so far not going to quite find a gap through there although if you know uh, see i don't i don't like my cars moving around however you can still make it work like that if you know what you're doing it just doesn't suit my driving uh, but it's definitely moving about in places so there may well be an opportunity for us somewhere especially with the nissan having to play street sweeper on this first lap uh, but we are not quite close enough. Oh, uh, we get a bit of understeer through the final corner. I think it's fast in a straight line. Uh, now, into the first corner. Uh, do we have the grip? Oh, Nissan was trying to run that high line. I do quite like that line as well. You do run the risk of bumping the wall, uh, which they did, but it wasn't the worst bump uh, possible, essentially. Uh, you see, yeah, we've got, we've got the front end grip on the most part. Uh, Sorry, we've got the rear end grip, but we might struggle with having quite the front end grip of that uh, of that Nissan through here. What can we do in this section? If we really get this part right, we might be able to carry momentum there, but the Nissan can't. Unfortunately, it's not really an overtaking spot down there. And the problem is, is where that is the bit we're strongest on. It's not really an overtaking spot. And then the Fair Lady just pulls away the second we get down the start finish straight. It's off. So, yeah, I mean, that's going to be a difficult one. This is going to be a tough one, I think, to find a way past. Oh, although we've got a big twitch mid-corner. That might be trouble. So he's obviously not quite as suited out here as we are. We are definitely easier to drive. However, this is going to be a difficult pass if we're going to make a pass stick somewhere. Uh, we are try I'm trying to look for any little that little chink in the armour, that little out of position moment. We are going to maybe be able to get alongside here, but we are on not a line that I really want to be on through this part. We're going to cross it over, but then that puts us on the outside for this next corner, which is... Oh, we're going to hang it out wide here. I think we're going to get it done. We do. But we aren't actually that great down this straight, so the Nissan's immediately fighting back. We will get across to the inside to cover that line. 
now who is going to be able to get through the first corner better oh it's going to be me the Nissan, I'm going to presume either hit a bump or got the back end loose at some point down there. You've got a big slide. So, I mean, I think actually, like, lap speed, if everything goes right, we're kind of similar. But I think the Nissan is just not as cooperative in some ways. The Corvette is a bit nicer to drive. That being said, it's, I'm sure this is when I'm going to find a way to miss a checkpoint or do something stupid and get myself in trouble. But uh, there we go. So my, my theory, my theory of just biggest rear tyres I can muster, kind of working. The cars that I was really afraid of, well, the A110's up into third now. Oh god, the Nissan's very sideways back there. Yeah, the, the Alpine is it's it's up there. It's definitely more suited to this than the tarmac stuff, perhaps. The Renault's just not quite working. Uh, we ran wide and kissed the wall. I'm pretty sure the Nissan did the same by the looks of it. It has got that run up the hill. It is quite fearsome uh, heading up that hill. Uh, oh, God. I mean, this is a, this is a real handling. The first two tracks of this, of this series, if you like, have been real handling circuits. So the Corvette is probably showing up quite well at the moment. I don't think it's going to last. I think the Nissan is overall better. Uh, but we have got a little bit of a chance when it's these full handling circuits. The Nissan is right behind us. Uh, we are out of the final corner, trying to open the steering up as much as I can. The Nissan just cannot quite put its power down as well as we can on that final turn. We used the Corvette strengths uh, as much as possible. That track probably played into our hands about as good as it's going to get for the... Uh, <laughs> For the big Corvette, very similar between me and the Fair Lady. As I said, I think they are, over the course of a lap, the Corvette may be a little easier to drive around that circuit. It's probably where the difference is. The, the Alpine up into third. Uh, BMW a little bit further back. Not too far back. The Renault. Yeah, the Renault not quite as... Obviously not quite working as much as I thought it might uh, around there. It was, a, it was another great, great fun battle at the front. We got a victory. I think that might be, yeah, that might be about the perfect storm for the Corvette. But we made the most of it. We got the victory. We're off to the Emerald Circuit for our next race. And I'm probably not going to be great here. Uh, the, this, is, this is the sort of track that my car will not suit. Um, I don't think. The plus point I get with the Corvette here is we will be able to maintain corner speed. We'll be able to carry a lot, so we're going to struggle. From the looks of what we've seen so far, we're going to struggle with actual top end. So the bit that we are going to be able to do is carry good corner speed through like this turn here. We're going to maintain momentum quite well, which is nice. However, I think we're going to just be too ultimately too slow down the straights. Now, what might help me a little bit is, uh, you know, we do still have 300 horsepower, which even though we're draggy as anything, maybe it's going to be enough to a degree, can we? This is going to be a brave part. Nope, the Alpine very late on the brakes. Uh, through there, not going around the outside of that, but we will cut back underneath it and we might get the pass to work on the exit. If it wasn't for all of the debris, uh, we will hug the inside down here. It's going to be side by side. Oh, BMW clonk the wall hard. And there wasn't a huge amount of uh, space, so to speak. Oh. But, uh, yeah, there we go. We are out of the final corner. We are in to sixth place. So, the Renault probably has good acceleration but lacks actual top end. The Volvo is probably a bit draggy as well up ahead. Uh, if we are quick through there and any of them struggle, I think there's a good shout for us in catching or oh, Renault intro. I wanted to... <laughs> well, my car is so, much, so struggling at a straight line, I want to touch the steering as little as possible through here. That Alpha's got serious speed through there. It's We're again in an awkward position down here. Uh, it's very good under brakes. It's so good under brakes it scared the crap out of a Monaro. Uh, and that's not a surprise. It's very small and very light. Uh, Monaro is going to fall back. Volvo is leading this little group. I, mean, I think any one of us could be on the podium back here, to be honest with you. Um, the, the Alpine is in uh, is, is going for it. We're going to find a gap through the middle. Oh, Monaro's coming as well. Thank you for the bump. Much appreciated. I'm not very quick getting going. 
Yep, there's metal everywhere. The issue for me now is I'm on the outside through a corner that I'm going to be flat out through. Monaro! <laughs> there was almost a gap. <laughs> it's a it's a huge risk that you run on that corner. If you go to the uh, the the uh, the Alpine got stuck with the Renault having trouble. So me running that outside line is a huge risk. I I think I had to go for it and try because if I didn't, I think we were going to be in trouble. Um, but yeah, it's. I put my car there knowing full well that if Shadow got even a teensy bit of understeer, I was going to be in trouble. And yeah, it's a gamble. It's a risk you take taking that line. And yeah, it didn't quite pay off. But, however, we are still in the fight. I mean, we're so good around the final corner. Uh, we're not going to brush the wall that time around. Can we do anything about getting on the podium here? Can we get fourth even? I don't know. We're clear from behind, so there's no issues with the cars behind. We are absolutely flat through there. Shadow bumps the wall. It slows down uh, the BMW. Oh, and the BMW missed a checkpoint. Okay, well, that's made things a little bit more little bit more plausible for me. We are again on the outside of Shadow, heading towards the hotel. Do we just launch it? Shadow's kind of covering the inside quite well through all of that. We are going to... Oh, I didn't quite get the timing right for the duck underneath. It's going to be a send in the final corner. We have the grip to do this. What will Shadow... How aggressive is Shadow going to defend this final corner? Uh, there is a gap. It's going to be a prizing. Uh, it actually wasn't too much of a prize. We just had too much grip for Shadow to deal with there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Shadow it didn't defend as aggressively as I thought they might on that inside line. I think, if, although if they had, I think I would have just gone around the outside. The Corvette, very grippy in a couple of places. Um, we never really got a clean lap. I don't know what we could have, if we could have got near the Volvo. Maybe. Maybe. Good fun battle. Good, good fun. A bit of a manic battle, uh, but a good fun, a good fun fight for the podium spots, nevertheless. We are back off-road for our next race, and... Oh, there's a lovely spot on the grid. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Uh, okay, we know my car is good on the really twisty stuff. This track, it's probably only about 30% dirt. Maybe 40. Uh, <laughs> no, I think probably 30 is about... It's not a huge amount of dirt, and it's not a hugely twisty circuit outside of that. I don't think we've got an answer to the Nissan. The bit that uh, the Nissan might struggle on the dirt. We'll probably be quicker than the Nissan on the dirt. However, uh, I think it's going to be too fast everywhere else. So, for me, it might be a battle for seconds. We may get ensnared in this fight, but we are we know the Corvette is great on the dirt. So we might lose out a bit because of the straight line speed down here, but we should, in theory, regain a bunch if we don't get caught up in the shenanigans here too badly. Uh, unfortunately, ghost mode. I was out of ghost mode while the Nissan was not, which is very unfortunate. Uh, that kind of screwed me a little bit there. We couldn't go past the BMW. The Nissan could just drive straight through. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really like the ghosting at the start of the race. I kind of wish it was a thing you could turn off. Um, I, I know why it's done for some stuff, but like that, for example, the Nissan gets a huge advantage because it was technically still in ghost mode for a little while. Um, so basically, if, for those that might not have figured it out at all, whatever, um, you, you start having ghost mode and after 20, 30 seconds you come out of it. But if your cars are, you know, inside each other, you can't pop out of ghost mode. So there is a little sneaky advantage thing you can do whereby you try and essentially keep your car inside everyone else's car so it stays in ghost mode and you can drive through multiple cars that way, which is what the Nissan did. Worked out very well for that, but because I didn't have a car, uh, for me to essentially be inside of, uh, we went popped out of ghost mode and then had to deal with actually racing. Uh, it's, yeah, not ideal. I, I think pretty much what I was expecting to happen has happened. Unfortunately, it's happened almost immediately. Uh, oh, that's a bit of oversteer. Oh, there's debris in that bush. Didn't remember about that or know about that. Uh, I quite like this circuit, but I don't drive it very often. And, yeah, did not know that was going to be there to slow me down. Well, that's kind of ruined it a bit. Uh, <laughs> I'd say ruined it a bit. Ruined, like, my big chance. Oh, God, that Nissan is really unruly on, I guess, the bumps. 
Well, I mean, the, my issue with the uh, uh, foliage debris was then un was was kind of countered by the Nissan having issues with, I presume, bumps in the final corner. This thing is immensely grippy in the corners. I really do quite like driving. I mean, this is a typical this is a typical Alex build. Uh, I didn't really go out to create a grip monster per se. I just have, uh, and no straight line speed. It's very me, and it's just this is the this is the sort of car that that I get the most out of. It you know, it's, it just works for me basically. Uh, I try okay, very occasionally. Uh, there are power builds I mean, when we film these these events. Uh, we film two in in one go. The best one gets used. The slightly less good one whether this will be the first one that gets used so far this evening both have been great and this evening has been a tale of two alexes of one very powerful straight line speed car and one very grippy handling car uh, and both were quite both have actually been quite competent uh this this one though is is much more much more my speed much more what i tend to go for even if we're not quite we're not the quite the fastest car there's no doubt about that uh however I'm probably more consistently quick with this. I think that's the difference. Uh, if if the fair lady is sorted over the bumps, it's fast. Uh, but as we've seen, oh god, it's a little bit erratic, and I'm cutting that very close uh, to the checkpoint. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm not quite as quick as the Nissan unless it's sort of full dirt, really twisty. But there is nothing else that's even remotely close in terms of this kind of circuit. So we are absolutely in no man's land. <laughs> We are far quicker than the rest of the. But not, not, not. We are probably about. We are probably quicker than the rest of the pack. About the same as the Nissan is quicker than us if the Nissan has a good lap. Uh, and I've had a mess of turn. Kind of one. I mean, there's sort of the kinks after the start finish straight, which I don't really count. Uh, but yeah, we 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 kept there briefly, but. Uh, we never really had the pace. Even if the ghost shenanigans, I mean, it definitely helped up oh, that debris even respawns. That's cool. Um, but uh, yeah, even if we hadn't had the ghost shenanigans, I don't think I could have defended against that. I think it would have just been too quick. What would have happened is it would have found us straight and out accelerated us. Probably across the start finish line and into that first braking zone. I think it would have just gone. Uh, we could hold, like, it wouldn't pass us in, it wouldn't have more grip than us. It couldn't just go around the outside. Or even that down here if it got itself set up uh, it'd just be a bit too quick but I mean I'm not going to complain too much with a second place at the end of the day the Corvette is is competitive um, it's a bit like a McLaren chasing a Red Bull <laughs> that's what we've got at the moment we're better than the rest but uh, yeah well, there we go. It looks like a huge... It looks like a very fun battle, actually, over third. And we are just a bit too quick. <laughs> I only just noticed how close that, that mayhem was going on back there. Ah. I mean, yeah. We were, the, we, we were by far the second quickest car there. We just didn't have an answer for the quickest. <laughs> that's, that's, that's basically it. Um, yeah, to be fair, the Renault 8 was... The Renault 8 wasn't a million miles off, but I bet that was very difficult to drive. Uh, that that is going to be my guess. That was not a not a pleasant experience around that circuit. The Corvette is, you know, safely on the podium again. We are off to the Garden Circuit for our final race. Nice spot on the grid for the for the Corvette. Uh, hey, and the Nissan's at the back. Can we make the world's widest Corvette? Possibly. Um, I, I adore this track. It is one of my favourite tracks in the game. In fact, it probably is my favourite track in the game, to be honest. My car is to my liking, shall we say. I can boot it in the back end, does what I want it to. Off the line? I mean, we're pretty good off the line. The the Alpine Leopard is going gonna, is gonna to lead. That thing launches pretty well. Of course, small and light. Uh, the Renault launches pretty well, but that's a lot further back. Uh, the Fair Lady launches also pretty well, but it's all the way at the back, so... We might have a chance to try and make the world's widest Corvette. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold off the Fair Lady. And I mean, at the end of the day, we have also got to pass a Volvo that's certainly not slow, driven by Ollie. But the uh, Leopard not as fast into the first corner as I was expecting that thing to be. 
Uh, so that's that's something. I mean, this track is quite hand is not as handling orientated as Bolo Ocho. It's a little bit more straight line speed uh, for the cars. Can I? Oh, that's a bad place to come out of ghost mode. I really wanted to get past the A110. Oh, before that was a little bit of a squeeze actually. Sorry, I do apologise. I thought we were going to be ahead of the A110. We just weren't quite as far ahead as I wanted to be. Uh, we can roll into here with more pace though. Uh, than Leopard and we will be clear. Got to watch out for that Alpine straight line speed. We know it's pretty rapid. Now that could cause some issues for a certain Nissan. I'm really hoping it causes some issues for a certain Nissan and not issues for me. Uh, can we be flat through here? Yes, we can. Quite easily, actually. Uh, now, well, what is the checkpoint doing on the sign? What has gone on there? How fast can I be into turn one? Pretty quick. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, we've got miles and miles of grip, but the Nissan has also got miles and miles of grip. We are going to have to be wet. Well, we are immensely worried about that, of course. Uh, come on, Corvette. Do not let the Volvo get away from you here. Uh, use as much as we can. Okay, and the Nissan is still trapped. It's still trapped behind Leopard. <laughs> that is really all we can hope for. So the Volvo, I mean, the Volvo is certainly not slow here. It doesn't have the rear end grip. It doesn't have the rear end traction, but it's not really needing it. This circuit, you don't really need too much rear end grip. I mean, you do need it, but you don't, the traction, there's not really traction zones. There's a lot of medium speed corners around here. And then this corner here, I absolutely love. We can chuck the Corvette through. And now the fair lady is on the march. The Volvo is quicker here than I was expecting it to be, if I'm honest. I mean, it's not been slow, but it has not really had an answer uh, for a lot of the circuits that we have been around. But here it is putting up a damn good fight. Um, we have got the menacing, the menacing wide body kit fair lady heading towards us. Uh, oh, that may be... Oh, I say maybe... I mean, we're talking... It was only a fraction wide through that corner, but every fraction is going to count here. What I am slightly worried about is I'm going to catch the Volvo, fight the Volvo, and the Nissan's going to pass both of us. That is a very, very legit threat here. We've caught a bit this lap. It's going to go down to probably the final lap between all three of us. I think the Nissan's probably just got the pace over us to do it, but we are going to try and be in the right place at the right time to make this happen. The Volvo very... I mean so much better down the straights than I am. Uh, we will chuck it into turn number one. I mean, you can see where we're gaining. The, uh, we've even got a little bit more grip. So the Volvo is better than me in a straight line, but not so good through the corners. We are marginally better than the Fair Lady through the corners, but it is better than us down the straights. Um, God, where are we going to pass this Volvo? Oh, didn't need to do that. Although the Nissan also can't live with the amount of grip we can we have the amount of speed we can take through there unfortunately we are going to be vulnerable at the bottom of this hill now with that nissan i don't think it's going to want to go around the outside we're going to make it it might be clear by the time we even get to, it's just too fast for me i should not got an answer for that car like what else could i have done there if i don't if i go to the outside it's just going to go to the inside if i <laughs> Like, there's no defense in the world that stops that. Uh, so, yeah. Oh. And we ran in there. I mean, I had to send it. Unfortunately, I was fully committed. Yeah. I, I was fully committed as they had an issue on their own. Um, not not really. I say, not, not really their fault. Not really much they could have done. Um, we were probably running wide on our own regardless of, uh, of, of what they did. Oh, they've missed a checkpoint. Oh no! I mean, it's good for us in terms of we are going to probably... Well, we are going to get a second. It had... <laughs> oh, could, could you not have missed a checkpoint a lap sooner? Because then I could have maybe had a go at the Volvo on the final lap. <laughs> oh no. Uh, damn it. Well, the Volvo, by the looks of it, is going to take a victory in all of this. We are going to settle for a second. We were a bit faster than the Volvo around there. It was very close. It was very close. The Nissan, as expected, was fearsome. It caught and passed us, but a missed checkpoint it happens sometimes while pushing hard trying to get that Volvo. It's another second place for... God, look at the lap times.
<laughs> Jeez. They were very, very close indeed. Oh, and the Nissan, the Nissan ended up down in ninth. That's very unlucky. Uh, I mean, we were closer in terms of that time. Probably not a big surprise that that would be the track that would work the best for us. Definitely the track that worked the best for the Volvo. It's not really worked anywhere so far in all of this. But uh, around the garden circuit, it was very strong. That was another really good race. Um, yeah, slightly gutted we couldn't have got the Volvo. Uh, who knows what would have happened on that final lap had things have been different. But that is that is the way it goes. That is motorsport for you. Uh, I'm pleased with my Corvette. It was just a really solid all-round contender. Uh, very good at twisty stuff. Not so good down the straights, uh, which was, yeah, <laughs> the story of a fail race build, really. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this... Uh, for this video. If you would like to sign up to take part in the next one, you can via our Discord. There will be a link in the description. Find the Versa Community sign-up section and you can register to take part in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching and until next time, a goodbye.